Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and I am playing Dr. Langiskov the Tiger and the Terribly Cursed Emerald, a whirlwind heist. This is a really interesting looking free game by Crows 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 and <laughs> directed by the creator of the Stanley Parable, which if you watched is a weird game. And I'm hoping this will be as interesting as the Stanley Parable was because that was pretty cool. This is a whirlwind heist. This game is supposed to be around 15 minutes long. We'll see how that goes. Start game. Hint. The Amadori Mansion won the 1912 award for the most entrances and exits. <laughs> Not a good start. All right. Hint. Guards will always ret return to their patrol paths. Oh. Okay, two minutes. This is your two minutes. Okay, a whirlwind heist. Can we check if the orchestra is ready, please? We've got some director's commentary tape. Interesting. I wonder if that is something I will get to, to do. Okay, just waiting for a go from Cairo. Drinks? No. They've gone too. Alright, okay, no problem. One minute. Break a leg, everybody. Positions, please. Dr. Langescope, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. A whirlwind heist. Now playing. And 37. It's a show. Beginning in three, two, one. Let's go. We are not being paid half enough. Front of house. Ignore this. <laughs> uh, buzz for entry to the publicity and liaison. One second, please. Hold, hold your first position. There's somebody at the door. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, one second. Can we get a precise location on the player, please? There's two of them. Right. Okay. Hi. Hi. So this is this is so this is a bit um this is a bit awkward. I think it's probably best if we're just really honest with each other. It's uh, it, yeah it's 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 a bit awkward. Um, the thing is, the game you've just downloaded, somebody mm -hmm. is playing it right now, so you can't you can't you can't you can't play it. <laughs> I'm I'm really sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. this is uh Yeah, this is quite inconvenient. I don't know I don't know why this keeps happening. Sorry, we're generally quite organized. You should come inside, I'll explain. Okay. Uh, just through here. Loading screens and waiting through this door. No some Here's the thing. The game's live, which makes it impossible to to insert you. And also it's 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 just quite difficult now for you to leave. But I think it's okay. I I, I I know I I know what to do. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and call publicity and liaisons, and we should be able to take you to the green room. All right. If you just wait here, uh, and yeah, we'll be able to get you in. All right. Let me just let me just find the number here. Okay. <laughs> this storyboard is interesting. I wonder if it's gonna it's follow ringing. this. Somebody will pick up. We're okay. We're okay. It's ringing. Uh, don't worry. Yeah, it's ringing. It's still, it's still ringing. Come are on. these beta tests? Hey. These yeah. are uh, beta test feedback yeah, forms. It's, yeah, I guess we've just gone live, so they might be a bit busy. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, they still haven't picked up. Oh, management is out. Oh, am I supposed to pick up? Management I quit. phone isn't ringing okay. in some empty room somewhere. Oh, they hung up. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'm going to try that again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, there's nobody here. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, I know, I know we've both got better things to this be doing. This actually is like. really hilarious. If you can read these... Receives the note on my desk that read as follows. To the, in the event of a fire or, or in or around your office, please try and ignore it and continue as if it wasn't there. I'm afraid I'm unable to follow these instructions and continue to work in this environment. Sorry, I quit. I'm really sorry. But also, Logistics Office language. 17 is on fire. <laughs> Come on, bloody, bloody publicity and liaison. Okay. Oh, I know what's going on. We've got um, something of a strike sort of situation emerging. Mm, I saw that. Yeah, we've, we've become quite understaffed. Actually, BRB. you wouldn't um, mind doing me a favor, would you? Come, come through here. I could really, I could, I could really use your help. Did this person but quit too? If you'd rather, if you'd rather wait here. Oh, I want to sit I around and read all this dialogue, but it's going to be really boring for you. Pause them and pause this and read them if you it's, were watching just, 1080p. You know why I miss out on this opportunity? All right. Right. Yeah. Sure. 
the thing is, our entire weather department and half the wildlife crew is just up to the left before we could even begin this morning. And it's all super simple. It's mostly buttons. Is you like buttons, games? right? And you'll be able to play the game as soon as whoever is in there at the moment is finished. Promise. Your help? Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, this way. Yeah, the lighting department's right through here. All right. Rehearsal schedule. Mm. <laughs> this is going to be it's fun. It's pointing some of the magic, you know. It feels a bit like cheating, but, you know, it's okay. You carry on. You do whatever you need to do. Monday, chorus work and crowd noise. Rehearsal, room C, mansion garden choreography. This is a lot to read. Just going to let you read it on your own. I don't want to spoil the pacing of this too much because I know it's going to be good. This is all game notes, behind the scenes game notes and dialogue and design things. And I hope these are other games that they're making. Uh, high concept miscellaneous interactions. Ah, oh, no, that's uh, that's miscellaneous interactions. We don't need to go in there. Okay. This is lighting, leading to props and costumes. All right. Right. First things first, could you bring up the lights? Thank you so much. Because, you know, we can't have people playing in the dark. Or they'll fall over. And it, you know, they could die. See that lever? It sets the sunset off. We've got the reflections in the lake looking... They're sort of great. There it goes. Little lights blinking on in the windows of the mansion, nice. up past the ornamental ponds. Oh, it's pretty magical, really. The light settings. Okay, now we need to attack them with a tiger. It, it, it's a heist game. The player's playing a big heist. I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it, the tiger's very important. It's in the title. All right, into wildlife preparation. Just through the door. I can't let you in there. Sorry, it's it's very complicated. Health and safety. It's shelves. It's just there's a lot of shelves. But look, we really need to attack the player with a tiger. It's very important. Right, this is all. It's so safe. We'd usually have someone else do this, but it's started striking. <laughs> There's a right tiger in this box. Well, that's not. Uh, I shouldn't have. Uh, just just pull the lever and, and let's say introduce the tiger to the level. <laughs> you should pull the tiger lever. Really? Okay. Perfect. That went perfectly. Uh, there should be a red button nearby. It will just let the recovery crews know that the tiger's ready to pick up. Oh my god. It's the it's the button. I think it's by the door to the weather room. Tiger retrieval. Please remember. Uh, okay. Pr press it again. Oh thank goodness. The recovery crew are on the move. I worried they might have joined the picket or gone to the union or been eaten by a tiger. You know. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to work out where you're going to be most useful. I don't think we have anybody left in catwalks, do we? Oh, we do. Oh, great. Wow. Can't believe it. I guess weather control, then. All right. The door's just over there. You're doing, you're doing so great. There's, not really, there's really not far to go. Oh, I hate this room. This hasn't been easy, you know. During our second performance, a pipe burst in here and flooded the whole garden level. The player got stuck on the uh, on the roof of the summer house. All right, okay, the script calls for a storm. Let's make it rain. It's the red valve on the pipe next to the door. Gently. <laughs> What's this? A lot of the story relies on there being a storm. That's it's, not it. It's a, it's a big part of Act 3. Letter of resignation. Yeah, this person quit. Listen, really, it's okay. Don't worry about what I told you about the flood. I because just want to stand around and listen to this person talk non -fatal forever. performances since then. No, 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 too much. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's a button below the fan that sorts out the thunder and lightning. Oh. It might be wired up wrong. I'm sorry. That room gets quite damp. Now I think about it, it might have been taken. Oh, no! There it is! There it goes! <laughs> You've got to picture the building lit up by these big flashes of lightning. It's really imposing. The set's massive. Oh, speaking of, the player has apparently entered the mansion through the orangery and is... They're going to use the lift. <laughs> this way. Oh, i got to help with the lift. Actually, wait, hang on a second. This okay, is really important. Wait, no. Behind this door is the closest the player ever passes backstage. They'll be right behind a wall. And I don't know what the wall's made of, but I do know that it's phenomenally cheap. So it's going to have to be very quiet. Okay? Oh, the player is in here. Um, just down the steps. Yeah, that's good. That's the mansion in there. Really clever players sometimes drop the chandelier on a guard. But 
I think, yeah, this one found the patrol plan and changed it up. So all the guards are walking round around the lake, which is it's a pretty maverick move, to be honest. Here's what we need to do. The player's going to come down the corridor and call the lift. And once the doors open and they get inside, they're going to press the down button. When that happens, all you have to do is pull the lever on this side. This lift was always supposed to power itself, obviously. This is just a hangover from rehearsals that nobody got round to replacing. Besides, it's fine, it's fine. We've got plenty of time. And actually, no, wait, here he comes, here he comes. Shh, out, ice front, ice front, ice front. Wait for it. Ready? What are they doing? Why haven't they, why haven't they pressed the button? Did they hear us? Don't move. Oh, thank God, they're moving. <laughs> oh, no idea what happened there. I think, I think, I think they, they can't have heard I hope they didn't hear us. They probably didn't hear us. At least they're on their way now. Actually, they're going to be very busy with the vault. You could start playing in the grounds. We just need to prep some pyrotechnics for the escape sequence and then you're good to go. There's a lift to the pyro workshop up the stairs. Okay. We could just uh, hurry along. Okay, okay, I'm gone. Interesting, interesting light choice. You're not into lifts. That's okay, I can understand that. But we really should keep moving. Whoa! Are you, oh my God, are you okay? Do you, do, you, do you still have your ankles? Are they, are they in the correct uh, orientation? Okay, you're okay, you do? That's great. I'm so, I'm, oh god, I'm so sorry about that. I really, this is, well, this is the weather room, isn't it? Uh, right. Okay, listen. Since we can't reach the lift of Pyro, the only way back into the game is through, is through a department called High Concept Miscellaneous Interactions. Oh, I didn't want to have to do this to you. There's <laughs> usually a lot of training involved. But I'll oh, talk you through it. You'll be, be fine. We'll be fine. You, brace yourself. Welcome to Miscellaneous Interactions. This is the department that controls... Well, it controls a lot of things. Locks and unlocked doors, interior lights, smoke machines, telephone calls, actor cues, laser lights, vault guards, tranquilizer dart strength, you know, that kind of thing. But it's all just done with numbers. I, I don't know why. And, uh, and usually the operator's got this big, um, you know, usually they know what they're doing. But I've got a manual here. I think we'll get through it. Oh, boy. Right, in order to get started, you're going to want to press the number four. Just go right ahead, the number four. Oh, wow, these are all the things the player's it doing? Be on the left-hand side. Uh, you know, you know, you know the number four, right? All right. Um, don't worry about that. Don't worry, that's fine. That, I think that's normal. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I don't think that light's a, a bad sign. Uh, five, seven, two, one, two, one. Ah! Okay, so what we did there, it turns out, was the wrong thing. Could you, um, could you press nine and then four and then, and then one? Did we? Oh, I think we restarted it. Oh, no. It's all right. There's a page Is that good? Oh, it. the phone's ringing. Oh, I think you should probably get that. What? What? What did you just... That could have been very important! What did you... Why did you... Ah! I, oh, it's alright. Okay, I found the right instructions. Alright, I need you to press the number 9. Alright. Let's... Okay, well, let's, let's just assume that we've got 9 sorted. Right? Okay. 5, 2, 1, 4, 4. Wait, no! Hit start to cancel that. And then a 2. <laughs> a 6. Just ignore that. <laughs> That's fine. Right, seven, two, left, one, four, two. Oh Christ! Please pick up the phone, please, and talk to them this time. How can you? How can you? How is this not making me incredibly anxious? Pick up the phone, please. I'm trying. Phone. Please pick up the phone. Oh, is it this phone? Oh come on! Again? Is, is there? Do you just? 
not know how to use the phone. All right, back to the board. All right. Get these four numbers. Two, five, nine. Oh, I guess we don't need to bother with nine. Oh. That sound that I might have told you to ignore, it turns out that it, it, that's a very bad alarm. So I'm going to need you to just do a 180 right down the stairs, please. Right down. Probably, <laughs> I'd probably go a bit. Here's, here's good. Here's good. Great. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, back, back, come on, back up the stairs. A bit faster than that, please. Just a bit, you know, just a bit faster. All right, don't worry, don't worry. Actually, do worry a bit. Hit seven, four, then asterisk. Is there a fire below right now? Is there, some, is there something on fire? Oh, there is, isn't there? Oh, there is. I don't think, really, I don't think any of this room is supposed to be on fire. Please don't do what I think you're about to do. Please don't do it. I'm calling a security and team. And put it to your ear. Nope. Oh! <laughs> you did what I did you do. Why did you do it anyway? Why? Wait. Hang on. We can we can still fix this. We can. I I need you to find a blue panel marked downpour. There it is. It's turned off, right? We yep. found a way to activate a fail-safe lever to the left of the. Oh no! Wait. On the right of the keypad. Right. Not left. Oh, no, hello. Left. Uh, okay, when the downpour panel lights up, I'm going to need you to pull it. When it lights up, not before. Any moment now. Downpour. Nope, nope, it didn't, nope, it did not light up. Um. Oh. Now? Yeah. Yay! Did Raining we, on the computer equipment, so that's I think we did maybe it. not great. The players left the mansion. I think... I think we did it. I don't think it's supposed to still be raining, but you know. Hey, come back down the stairs. All right. You're, you're done here. You don't need to spend any more time in this room. You can forget about the whole thing. This is it. You're done, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You really helped out. We couldn't have made it through without you. We really couldn't have. Through here. Oh, this is where here I started. Here we are again. So. This is how it's gonna work. You go in there, just give me a moment, I will bring the lights up, and Dr. Langstock, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. Another player? You've got to be kidding me. You, I can't, I can't do this again. Okay, this is really awkward. The fact of the matter is... Wait, hang on, where are you going? Right, so, look, I need to talk to you... Okay, that's the lighting room. You need to talk... Okay, fine, this is wildlife prep. No, hang on, this is... That's a... Hang on, there's a tiger in there. There's a tiger in there. That's... Uh, no, don't, don't pull that! Wait, no! Oh! Oh, God. Oh my god, that was wonderful. What an incredibly, delightfully strange game that was. Seriously. Great idea, really. To put you behind the scenes of making a game happen. I love it. Uh, that's just the kind of weird thing that I would expect from the mind of the person who thought of the Stanley Parable. Awesome. Really, really cool of them to release this for free. Because, like... A lot of effort goes into making something like that. That was not easy to do. So, really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I just wanted to say one more thing about this game. Um, you may have sort of had this impression. I certainly did. So I took a minute to Google after I was done. And as I thought, there is an incredibly ridiculous ARG, alternate reality game. I think that's what that stands for kind of centered around this with all kinds of websites and documents and emails and crap like galore um, based on or involving the post-it notes and stuff that appeared in this game, the letters on the ground, the all that stuff. It's it. it so there's a subreddit. Uh, if you go to Reddit crows, 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 um, it will, there's like all the people who have been talking about this and trying to find all the secret stuff in this game or not necessarily in the game, but, around the game 
really interesting. If you're into that kind of stuff, dig in uh, and play this game because it's free. So do it. And maybe you can find some secret things. Okay. Now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.